Good evening. You're watching the news from the Sultan of Oman Television. First, the headlines. 15 new cases of COVID-19 are registered in the Sultan, while 23 cases are recovered. The Royal Air Force of Oman continues to operate flights to China to import medical devices to combat coronavirus COVID-19. And the Ministry of Education launches an electronic platform to provide lessons to all students. Non-compliance with the directives of the Supreme Committee dealing with coronavirus COVID-19 exposes you to risk and legal action. Stay safe. Those were the headlines and now the news in detail. The Minister of Health announced the registration of 15 new cases of coronavirus COVID-19 infection for citizens. Five of them are related to contacts with infected patients and eight cases related to traveling while two are subject to an epidemiological investigation. The total number of cases recorded in the Sultan now is 167. The ministry calls upon all to strictly adhere to the quarantine procedures in a separate room and toilet as directed. It also called on all citizens and residents to constantly clean hands with water and soap, avoid touching the face, nose, mouth and eyes and follow hygienic habits when sneezing and coughing and strictly adhere to the social distancing instructions issued by the COVID-19 Supreme Committee and the Ministry of Health. The Ministry of Manpower affirmed that private sector companies responded to the decision of not deducting or lowering the salaries of their employees. This came as the Shura Council Office in its 10th meeting called upon the necessity of not deducting or lowering salaries of their employees in the private sector. The office received a number of complaints related or to deducting salaries of workers in the private sector establishments in light of the scaling back of the business due to the COVID-19. The meeting was chaired by His Excellency Khalid bin Lal al-Mawli, Chairman of the Shura Council. Royal Air Force of Oman continues to operate its flights to China in order to import medical materials and equipment. This comes within the Sultan's Armed Forces efforts along with other government borders in the Sultan to combat the coronavirus. The Sultan's Armed Forces presented by the Royal Air Force of Oman exert tireless efforts to reduce the spread of COVID-19. Royal Air Force of Oman, represented by Medical Response and Public Health Sector, operated yesterday the second flight to China to increase the Santa's stock of medicines and medical and laboratory equipment in order to combat this pandemic and its developments. The Medical Response and Public Health Sector took all the precautionary measures to ensure the safety of the crew and members on board by using screening devices for the virus. Within the framework of the national roles and duties and the continuation of the efforts of the Sultan's armed forces to combat the coronavirus and limit its spread alongside other all institutions in Sultan, the Royal Army of Oman presented in the engineering department uh, the Sultan's Armed Forces uh, continues its preparations to activate precautionary plans and formed field teams concerned with disinfection and sterilization of roads and regions so that they are able to respond according to the capabilities available to each team with devices and equipment to deal with the disinfection plans in addition to training on similar expectations that may accompany the development of the virus pandemic. The requirements of the uh, current situation also are adopted to make readiness required to carry any tasks.
Spain reported the national daily record of 838 coronavirus deaths today in a fresh warning to the world that long-term lockdowns may be needed to halt the deadly march of the disease that has claimed more than 31,000 lives. A deluge of patients are overwhelming hospitals in Europe and the United States, now the focal points of a pandemic that is upending the global economy in unprecedented ways. Cities around the world have fallen eerily quiet as a third of humanity adjust to, to life confined within the walls of their own homes. In Britain, deaths have now topped 1,000 as Prime Minister Boris Johnson, who tested positive for the virus last week, warned that dark days were on the horizon. In the ground zone city of Wuhan, however, life is creeping back to normal. With the pandemic sweeping westward, the United States is home of the highest number of confirmed COVID-19 infections globally, with more than 124,000 cases. Around the world, more than 667,090 cases of the novel coronavirus have been officially declared since the outbreak began late last year, with at least 31,412 deaths. In order to deliver the educational content to all students, the Ministry of Education launched an electronic platform that includes all subjects. Students can log in the platform and download the subjects and lessons. They as well can watch the lessons online. Due to the breakout of the coronavirus, all classes are suspended in all schools in the Sultanate as part of the precautionary measures to contain the spread of the pandemic. The ministry launched this platform to provide distant virtual education to students until this pandemic is over. The platform offers classes for various segment students that include 62 applications allocated for subjects to download daily online lectures, exams, visual communications between student and teacher, and many other services. Oman Telecommunication Company Oman Tel, the strategic partner in this platform, affirmed that internet service in the platform is for free. Oman Technology Fund announced the allocation of 1 million Oman Reals to invest in technical projects that provide solutions to overcome the challenges of the coronavirus. Earlier, the fund, in cooperation with the Ministry of Agriculture and Fisheries Wealth, launched the Bahar Electronic Platform, which will link the central wholesale fish markets in some wilayas to electronic bidding. The Oman Technology Fund invested in four Omani youths who invented the Bahar E platform. It is aimed to ensure that the fish are provided in the market away from the risk resulted from context and crowding as part of precautionary measures. The platform will serve the segment of merchants and fish marketing companies and institutions operating in the fish sector in various wilayas of the Sultanate by offering auctions on the platform and thus saving time and efforts to reach the market. This service is unique in developing fish marketing and distribution through the internet in the modern way. This is the Sultanate of Oman Television. Before in tonight's bulletin, here are the main points once again. 15 new cases of COVID-19 are registered in the Sultan, while 23 cases are recovered. Royal Air Force of Oman continues to operate flights to China to import medical devices to combat coronavirus COVID-19. And the Ministry of Education launches an electronic platform to provide lessons to all students. And with that, we come to the end of tonight's news bulletin from all of us here in the newsroom and the studios. Good night.